everyone, this is Brad. I'm from Northwest Indiana, and uh, Atlas 46 has some sort of contest going, and I love Atlas 46, and I'm going to show you some of the stuff I've bought from them over the last three or four years, and I drove all the way to St. Louis in a rainstorm to get all this stuff, and uh, it's been really worth it, and uh, I'm going to show all these products to you, and hopefully you can make a conclusion about... Uh, how you use the gear in your line of work. I know I just frame houses, residential houses. That's it, you know. I don't do anything else. No siding, no plumbing, nothing. I see a lot of those guys out there with uh, just pliers and drills hanging off of them and safety equipment. That's pretty hardcore. And uh, this video probably won't be for, for those guys per se, but all I do is work with uh, framing materials and a little bit of metal, but um, you know, it's pretty straightforward as far as just framing, you know. So uh, let's get into it. All right, so we're checking out some gear here. Uh, this is the Saratoga vest I bought when I bought my tool belt. and. This Saratoga vest is really strong, and I got the hydration pack too, but uh, I never used it because if you're framing and you have to carry studs, it's kind of hard to carry studs with all your gear on here, you know. Um, like right here, I had my tape measure just, you know, sticks out, and then you can't, you know, you can't carry studs and stuff. So this really didn't work for me, but... I know it's got cool attachments like, you know, this Velcro here with the magnet strips. Uh, this kind of thing is definitely good for, uh, you know, guys, like I said, with all those pliers and all that stuff. And these things are fully adjustable, which is cool. Uh, all these loops and stuff. There's a lot to it. And it's got storage in it. It's got pockets, you know, inside of here. It's got pocket inside of there well, we can't really see it there but it's on the inside and uh that wasn't really a good buy for me because it's it's a it it fit great but it just didn't you know keep you had to put pouches on the bottom of it for your nails and stuff so it hung really low um which wasn't fun but uh, other than that i mean the thing is tough i mean i wore that i wore this thing for an entire winter and, and I mean, it's still like it's in brand new condition. So, uh, I, that thing's awesome. Now, right here, I bought these work shorts and pants that the coyote, um, work pants. I don't really know the name. I think, I don't know the name of these pants. I think there's a special name for them, but they're great. I mean, these pockets are pouches, you know what I mean? And these loops right here are for these knee pads, which I love these knee pads. These things are a lifesaver in framing. Uh, you can kind of see the plastic coming out a little bit there. And the inside's fine. And uh, But the sawdust gets stuck in the Velcro and they don't really Velcro that good. But because these shorts have these loops here, the stuff holds on really good. You know what I mean? So I, I wouldn't sweat that, you know what I mean? So I went up and upgraded to these pour-on ones, and holy cow, these things are awesome. They're a tad bulky, but, I mean, these things have saved my knees over the last year a ton, and uh, I am very thankful for that. Um, these shorts, as you can see right about here, they're, they're wearing, no doubt, and they're about a year, well, probably two years old by now, but... Um, the material on the thighs is awesome. I personally love these shorts because of these loops for the knee pads. Um, now this is always going to wear out this stuff here. I don't know what, this is just regular cloth material. And then you got the pants right here that I bought. And these pants are awesome. These things probably lasted two years. But as you can see here, the crotch blew out on them. Um, I don't know. 
how you can get that fixed. It just started as a little tear, you know, if guys crawl around trusses a lot, uh, you know, you're stretching yourself over, you know, different trusses and stuff and one little tear starts and it, it can flare out like that. But uh, I have another pair and the same thing's happening right here by this pocket. Um, it's just, just wearing out, you know, just wearing out there. You know, you got sweaty hands, you got dirty hands and you're wiping your hands on your hips and stuff and you know, things wear out, but that's okay. Um, I love this stuff. These pouches here, they're, they open up and they're like nail pouches. They're not really pockets. You know, I, I think that's a genius idea. Um, but I, I'm glad I made these purchases because they're still lasting even to this day, you know, even this thing here, like I use this when I'm up on the roof, sheeting the roof, you know, it's just holds these little clips that so you, you got to hold a ton of these and then they're in your pouches all day and that's annoying. So bought that just for that. And that's great. You know, um, you know, things wear out, you know, the, a little bit of the Velcro is coming apart, but still works. It does its thing. Um, yeah. Now, here's the other, the, my current pair of pants. And you can see right here, right above the phone pocket, just the whole war, war into it, just from, you know, wiping your hands and crap. And, you know, that just happens over time. But, you know, these pants are well worth it. And the shorts, man, holy cow. The shorts, still being able to, to wear those with the knee pads is... A huge lifesaver out there um, I really hope you uh, think it through get you some stuff and when I bought all of my stuff they sent me all these a bunch of they gave me a bunch of stickers because they knew I drove a long way to get all the stuff so I put a bunch of stickers on my cabin and tree <laughs> okay so after all that said and done this is the big daddy Mac daddy right here the Ames adjustable belt with all of these different little pouches on it. Um, this belt is perfect other than <laughs> this. I don't know how to adjust this belt. It is adjustable a thousand different ways and I've never really messed with it because I tightened it up and it fit good and that's what we got. <laughs> So over here, you know, it's real simple. I have minimal tools because tools, tools mean weight and weight means sweat. So I just have, you know, nail gun nails. I do have the uh, nail gun insert or nail rack of nails insert pouch here that holds the nails up like that. But it's really sharp with those edges popping out. Um, so I have that. I use it from time to time, but not not too often and uh this belt's held up pretty well it's, i've had this one for oh boy three years and some of this stuff's like fraying off you know just from catching trusses and just you know just hooking it on stuff this this one busted off because i don't know i don't even know if that belongs there really but that one busted off but i mean these things are you know they go through hell really and i mean this setup is perfect for framing you got nails in here uh the gun nails in here your speed square goes here you know you've got all these other inserts here the pouches fold in on themselves to minimize things like all this crushes together which i think is really cool um one thing i the number one thing about this belt if you sweat a lot like guys i know sweating is a big one uh these stretchy i don't know what you'd call these these the cummerbund adjustable cummerbund they call it uh they're velcro they stretch out look at that thing it's just all stretched out that's supposed to be like a that's supposed to be like a three inch wide velcro piece but it just it's all stretched out from me putting on weight and other things but <laughs> When you sweat, that thing will get wet and it just stretches out. And then you're using more of this, you know. Um, so that's where most of my adjustment comes from. Not really so much from here because 
I mean, there's like, I don't know, there's like a bunch of knots inside of here, like a bunch of stuff to adjust. And it is really adjustable. The hammer loop, tough, real tough. Uh, I had to wear this out because the stiletto's got the uh, really, like the axe handles have the really wide bottom on the uh, bottom of the hammer. So it was really hard to get this to adjust to that. But now, you know, it's wore out enough to where it slides right in. But on this side, you've got a knife pouch, which I don't really like these knife pouches. These, you can lose your knife in here. That's how deep those go. I mean, you can see the knife there, but when I pull this cat's paw, you can see how deep that thing goes. I mean, it's way down in there. Um, it's, it's really deep in there. So, and then I bought the, uh, the chalk line pouch, which is holding up really nicely. You can put your chalk line in here upside down if you want to, and it'll just leak chalk out of here. You know what I mean? It won't get in the pouch and stay there. It's got these little holes that leak it out, which is awesome. Um, the same thing happened here where this buckle just snapped off, wasn't being used, and it just wore out. So um, the tape measure pouch is perfect. I try to... I try to take off the little clip on these tape measures before I put them in there just because it gets kind of hung up on stuff sometimes. But, dude, it's awesome. It's got these little inserts here for screws or whatever else, you know. I love that. And then another big one is this magnet strip right here. Holy crap. These things are hardcore. I mean, they'll hold anything. <laughs> it's, it's amazing, really. I love this belt. But whatever it was, it was worth it because it's been three years and I'm just now starting to think about getting a new one. So, um, yeah, that should conclude this video about all this stuff. And, dude, I'm telling you, man, these pouches here, if you buy one, you're going to keep buying them. You know what I mean? It's just, it's the best product out there. You know, I'm, I went to Menards the first 10 years of my career buying tool belt after tool belt and it's just you know they're heavy they wear out the the suede just gets sweat in there and you know it's ends up really gross looking but uh this stuff here it holds up pretty well i mean i beat like i said framing beats the crap out of stuff and uh it takes its toll on it and uh you know it's held up pretty well so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh we'll see you around the bend